Well, Hollywood's elite were all under one roof on Sunday for the 79th Annual Academy Awards. And royalty ruled. Helen Mirren appears to be queen of the world. As expected, she took home the Oscar for Best Actress for her starring role in The Queen. And an emotional Forrest Whitaker won Best Actor for The Last King of Scotland. It was also a huge night for the American director Martin Scorsese. Many feel his Best Director Oscar for The Departed was long overdue. The film also scored the award for Best Picture. Well, time now for the main reason why many watch the Oscars, the glitz, the gowns. And joining us live from Los Angeles is celebrity stylist Philip Block. He's going to tell us which outfits worked on the red carpet. Hello there and welcome to the program. And let's talk about the queen, Helen Mirren. She wore, I believe it was a gown by Christian Lacroix. And she looked so regal. I would love to see Queen Elizabeth in that dress. <laughs> <laughs> she looked fantastic. And also someone else on the, on the red carpet who also looked good, even though she wasn't up for an award. But Gwyneth Paltrow, she rocked the red carpet in something by Zach Posen in a very unique color. I wanted to get your take on that. Uh, I love the color. I called it kind of seafood bisque, but I was with Zach Posen at Elton John's party when Gwyneth was on the air, and he said, I called it lipstick, and, and I thought it was beautiful. I just love the color, and I thought with the dark lipstick looked really regal, and again, the really stick straight hair. A lot of the girls were wearing stick straight hair, Beyonce, Nicole Kidman. It was a very clean, simple look. And I love the whole 40s feel of her dress, and Zach Posen's a great friend of mine, a great designer, and I, I just thought it was chic and elegant. Very old school glam for her. Now, Kate Blanchett, she was up for an Oscar that ultimately she didn't win that night, but she pulled off a look that not many women could pull off. That was a really hard one, but again, the metallics are so in this season. We're going to see them a lot, and even into Follow 7, and a lot of this jewel encrusted where the jewels are already in the dress, and asymmetrics were very prevalent last night, and she just pulled it off. But Kate Blanchett is one of those women that's very fashion savvy. She knows about fashion. She's got the speed dial to every designer out there, so she doesn't even really need to work with a stylist. I, I just thought it was chic. I, I thought it was chic and elegant and beautiful. And that gun by Armani Privé. We're going to bring up some video and some pictures now of Penelope Cruz. She was wearing a gown, I believe, by Valentino. Blush Actually, colored Versace. with a really... Oh, I'm sorry, it was Versace. Big Isn't mistake. That amazing? But tell us about this. A fantastic. Now, Penelope... Penelope's a very tiny girl, so it's interesting that she could carry off such a big, powerful dress, because that dress is obviously overwhelming. But I think she has the chic and the elegance to carry it off. I thought the hair was beautiful, a little homage to Spain. It, it had a real senorita feel to the hair. And Penelope could just wear these beautiful dresses with this, all this pomp and pageantry, and it really works on her. The jewelry was simple, open neckline. And just the beautiful workmanship you can see on the bust of the dress is just what Versace's all about. They're so elegant the way they work a dress. I just love the fitted body and the fluffy train. It was absolutely gorgeous. Now, you worked a little bit of your magic at the Oscars yesterday. In fact, you outfitted Forrest Whitaker, the big winner, as well as his beautiful wife. Actually, it's, it takes a whole team. It's a small village to get everyone together. But we worked with Forrest and Keisha, and she wore the, a brand new designer called George Chakra. And this dress is so amazing, that color, people were just blown away. Oprah was there last night, and she was just like, I want to get a dress like that. It is so amazing. <laughs> and it's such a big day for a designer like George Chakra, who isn't really known around the world yet, although he shows in Paris. But this was a great unveiling for his work. Well, it's definitely a name to look out for. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to touch upon the gowns that didn't quite work on the red carpet. And um, oh. even though it was a big night for Jennifer Hudson, Unfortunately, it really it wasn't the ideal look for her, was it? It's a shame because it was by Oscar de la Renta, who is known for his elegance, but it just didn't really work. And I think one of the things that's so important as a stylist, and, and the little gold jacket had to go. It looks like it was turned upside down. It was very weird, but the dress didn't fit. And as a stylist, we have lots of great little tricks of the trades. You do the... The Wonder Bra has an amazing plunge bra that would have worked great on her cleavage, but you see it doesn't fit her great in the cleavage. You use the body enhancers or Go Figure underneath. Haynes has a product called Go Figure you put underneath to smooth and curve. It just didn't work on her body. And I think, you know, there's so much talk in Hollywood about, about the girls being too skinny or being overweight. She's a gorgeous girl with a beautiful body, and you've got to accentuate your curves, celebrate your curves, you know, and, and I think that dress didn't do her justice. 
Yeah, it's all about the fit, isn't it? Uh, another beautiful girl in Hollywood, Cameron Diaz. Uh, she what always was that? I mean, she's known for a quirky sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, and it's a Valentino gown, um, but it looked like an envelope. What was going on there? It was so stiff, and I just I didn't feel like it looked wrinkled all over. It didn't feel like on the part that folded down looked like the fabrics didn't seem together right. It looked wrinkled. See, look right there. It looks all wrinkled at the bust. I, you know, Cameron's great. I love the hair. I love the makeup. I love the big emerald earrings. You can't miss those. It looked like a big green stop so, a go sign. However, the dress <laughs> was just bizarre. It looked like an envelope, like curtains, and, and it was kind of cut short in the front. It just looked really strange, and Cameron's worn some strange outfits over the years, but this one just didn't really work. And I loved her Golden Globe outfit, which was by Valentino. It was so chic and elegant. And this was just trying too hard, and it looked bizarre. <laughs> I know, it, it, not quite as bizarre as the, the famous Bjork dress of 2001, the swan dress, but you know what, Cameron, she could have worn something a lot more gorgeous and fitting of her. Anyway, we're going to have to wrap it up there, but Philip, thank you so much for joining us on CNN Today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Take care. Looks like curtains, he said, of that dress. Looks I like know. curtains for her on the fashion. I know, it, it, was, it was more, uh, you, you looked at her and said origami, not oh. gorgeous Hollywood starlet. It was like, it made too much of a statement. I'm a simple anyway. man, they all look gorgeous to me. <laughs> well, there's much more coming up on CNN today. No, it guzzles gas, it belches CO2. It's not your husband, by the way. This is uh, <laughs> Honda's new earthy image. Will it be enough to turn Formula One green? We'll also get an update of weather conditions around the world. And an archaeological find in Jerusalem threatens, some say, to shake the foundations of Christian belief. We'll find out all about it. Stay with us.